Welcome to Dr. Coco's Kitchen. I am Dr. Coco and I am so excited because I finally took the plunge and purchased this Breville Immersion Blender. Now, I don't know about you, but shifting different ingredients into a blender sometimes when it's hot liquids, it's just too much going on. So I was like, okay, Chanel, I wanna buy an immersion blender. Which one do I pick? So I've done extensive research and I decided to purchase this immersion blender and I want you all to follow me. Some people get excited about unboxing other things. I get excited about unboxing kitchen utensils. Do not judge me, it's fine. Breville immersion blender with the control grip. Let's see. Okay, so this is, um, I don't know what this is called, a piece. This is the whisk. I'm assuming you can use this to like uh, whisk egg whites and make it kind of um, the foam egg whites and you can make homemade whipped cream with that whisk. That's convenient, I like that piece. Okay, this is huge. Uh-oh, I'm dropping stuff. This is the, uh, extra large jug. So if you're making a soup, you can really do, well, this is the chopper right here. The chopper piece was inside the extra large. This is where you can make like your homemade pico de gallo. You can make a pesto with this because it's a smaller um, mixer or a smaller chopper bowl. And this is the big jug for the soup. So much larger as you can see. I'll put all my bags over here because I'm OCD. And I like them to be in one place. Here is a piece. Um, yeah, I don't know what. Oh, this goes with the whisk. Oh, it fits right in there. That's handy. This piece is the top. It says, mm -mm. why doesn't it say Breville like the little picture? So, hoodwinked. I've been jitted. It's supposed to sell Breville. Briefly. Okay, so this is the top, the jug. This is the chopper bowl. This is, what do they call this thing? Um, the motor? Okay. And this other part is, I don't know. I guess this is the hand, the control grip, I'm assuming. I definitely feel the rubber on the back of it so your hand won't slip. This is huge. It has different settings um, by odd numbers, one to 15 different odd numbers. So what's that, about seven, eight settings. And you slide this, uh-oh. You push the buttons and you slide this into here. This is huge, 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 huge. And I'm assuming that if I had some soup, oh, and it has like a little cover to protect from the blades. If I had some soup, I'd put it in here and I'd be blending, plug it in, has a cord. I guess the cord wouldn't really be in a way. Um, I think it would probably be better cordless, but to get the amount of power that you need, it probably needs to be plugged in, but that's how you would do that mix. And then with this one, I'm not quite sure how you would blend Maybe you would take this off. If I wanted to chop and make some pesto, if I had some basil and some pine nuts and some garlic and I would, oh, this is hella cool. Wait, you would just, don't cut yourself. Do not try this at home. This is not the right size. So how does this work? Oh, there you have it. And then you would just blend. Okay, so that's two out of three different functions. So you need the top for, definitely for to chop or blend. To chop, you need the top. For soup, you don't necessarily need the top. And then if I were whisking some eggs or making some heavy whipped cream, I could just put this piece on there. This is super cool. Um, it was about 130, not about, it was $130 before tax from William Sonoma. So if you're looking to buy an immersion blender and you want the immersion blender of immersion blenders, um, so far it looks pretty convenient and it's multifunctional. That's what I really like about it. It has three functions, so I don't have to go buy a food processor now because once I put the blade in there, I have one. So 
All in all, I think it's pretty much worth it. I'll let you know how it works when I get to cooking some food, but that's it. Um, I don't have a sign off, so don't know how that's gonna work. Welcome to my first, well, thanks for coming to my first unboxing. Um, I will have all the kitchen gadgets. I have a lot, but I just can't stop buying kitchen gadgets. Thank you for joining me as I elevate your food and wine experience by adding a little bit of cocoa to your life. And everybody loves cocoa, so I'll see you next time.